Okay, this is on the Crowley job, number 54097, install on 53 by Jason. So what we're doing is, um, they have three furnaces in this house, um, but we're installing the one in the basement, this big giant Lennox Pulse. Um, and we're adding a four ton heat pump and a new coil. So, um, <clears throat> This is kind of difficult, um, kind of a difficult one, and because we're adding dampers for a future zone system, if it doesn't work their way the way they want it to, so um, the furnace will sit ten inches from that wall here. The back will be the same as it is now. Two inches off the back wall. Um, this return, return air duct will be butted up tight against this wall here. So um, we have the furnace and I can't see your cut lines so I'll just tell you on this video. So one cut line is going to be that seam right there, right above the two by four. Um, good luck. <laughs> the other cut line is gonna be the back of the duct. Um, so you have that fitting on the back. That fitting is five inches long, so you're gonna take that fitting off and then you have to measure your own cut line and I'll go over that with you in a minute. And then these, you're gonna take off these HET or these uh, takeoffs and just reuse this. Okay, so, um, so we have a drain right here. And so our duct's going to be covering um, half of that drain. So I offset it up five inches um, to give access to that drain. So just know this filter box will be five inches off the ground. And I measured that from over here, so you'll have to make some stands or something to hold the duct up or screw it into the wood or something. Um, you know, because it's all in a dip right there. Anyway, duct just as it shows. Um, your cut line will be right here. I don't have to draw that still. You're getting rid of the humidifier and the humidistat and abandoning, you know, just getting rid of it all. Oh, that's right. I need to get you a, a patch to patch. Oh, wait, no, that's coming out. Yeah, so this whole planum will come out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little frazzled on this one. Um... Okay, this is a one inch offset, and then next up to just tie into there. I don't need to explain that part. Okay, so this fitting here, I did one inch in, except for the bottom, I did one inch out. So that way you can reach inside and screw it in. Um, And because I needed more air because I didn't have any room. Okay, so. So your new furnace is going to be 10 inches from the left wall. So I made a 3 inch takeoff starting collar. Then an 8 inch duct for a damper. 
So the furnace sit right here, a three inch piece of duct, and eight inch, so your damper will sit right here. And then I gave you a piece, and I tried to match what's there. If this all works, that would be just the best ever, but <laughs> I have my doubts. Oh yeah. So, and I did not give you a canvas on this. I'm sorry. But, actually, this is not a canvas. This is a straight piece of duct. But I'm going to give you a canvas as well. If, for some reason, you can't do this and get this to work with no canvas, maybe you can put the damper inside a canvas so i made the canvas the same size as the um damper duct or vice versa you get my point so you can uh put a canvas in place of this duct piece number nine and then just put a flat piece of metal on the front where the damper comes out but if you can do it all from inside that'd be great Okay, off the front of the furnace, I have a, just that fitting and then a piece of duct with the 8, eight by 8x16 damper in it and then the 90, this goes over here, 90, off the 90, two squared arounds. So that'll be in place of this. So take off duct 90 and then two squared arounds and then just reattach the pipes eight inch pipe and the sixes and the six <coughs> so that's eight inch round and six inch round transitions squared arounds okay anywho um, where was I? Oh yeah, then off the back of the duct, this is what's gonna just suck. I tried, I cut out the, the plan to try to match this piece of duct, but I can still barely see it. And I think I got it measured pretty good. Um, did my best but off the back of the duct comes back here gonna have this fitting and a damper piece and then a canvas <coughs> and so let me go over here so right here I believe this duct is 8 by 24. That's what I believe when I was trying to measure it. Um, so we're going to have to cut out the sheetrock here. And I talked to the uh, lady at the house and told her that. And put in our duct. And then the damper access will be on this side. So they'll have to put an access door over here um, and you know depending what's there I don't even know if something's there so and this is all just for future so um, maybe if they if it were me I would do all this and unless I knew I was putting in the zone system but it's up to them, I guess. Anywho, um, so yeah, your cut line would just have to be where you need it. Okay, let's go back to the business here. Sorry for the long video. Okay, that's that. Okay, so combustion air is okay right there. 
um, the vent. Okay, so on the scope, Dwight has a 110,000 BTU furnace. This is a pulse with two inch flues. So I talked to Dwight, he's gonna order a 90,000 BTU furnace. We're downsizing this so we can use these flues. Um, so, note that. Make sure you have the 90,000 BTU furnace because we can't go in two inch on 110. Anyway, so, um, we're gonna reuse these flues, get rid of the mufflers. Um, the gas, so from the cock, you're going to add a flex and you may have to tweak this a little bit, this cock, I don't know if it's going to hit our return air duct, if it does, you may have to twist it, um, but you're going to add a flex and then a, uh, Actually, give you two inch and a 90 just in case. I don't know what we'll have to do with that. Turning wise. Flex. And then a T4 cap into the furnace. AC. I'll go over in a minute. Drain to the floor right there. Thermostat. You're going to put on an S30 thermostat. Add dampers for future two zone system. Um, okay, let's go over the AC real quick. And yes, I have a cold. <laughs> so the AC is over on the east side. If you notice the uh, coil, the line set is inch and an eighth on this furnace. You actually access the AC from the front yard, but the back. Alright. So, we have two lines set. This one's 7 eighths, this one's inch and eighth. So, this line set goes to our furnace. Big pulse in the basement. Okay, this is the one we're switching out. <sighs> Okay, so no pad needed, it's on cement. Move the unit over so you don't block the disconnect. Um, flush the line set. And uh, the existing breaker is 30 amp for that. So we're good there. And I believe that's it. Thanks.